Hey guys, I'm Brandon Lewis, a fifth year student here at Salt Fleet. I'm just going to go around the school and talk to some students and teachers today about bullying and Salt Fleet as a whole. I think it's important we speak out against bullying because it's not right. It hurts people's feelings and they feel like really bad afterwards. Because absolutely nobody deserves to feel anything less than wonderful about themselves. Like if he decides to take his life over it, it's, it's easy to stop it by saying, hey, leave him alone. I think it's important because some kids are really afraid and shy to speak up because they're afraid they might get bullied for saying, like, saying they're being bullied. And if we all together as a group join in and help them out, it will make a difference. I think any time another person is made to feel inferior to another, it's important for us to speak out. If you want it to stop, like no one should have to feel that way or get excluded. When an issue like this is kept quiet, it's pretty unlikely that it's going to be solved. Because people don't need to be treated like this, like it's not right. Everyone has their own talents and gifts and they all need to be respected for those things and that just because one person doesn't value it doesn't mean it's not valuable. Nobody deserves to be treated wrongly, nobody deserves to be treated poor. Sometimes it gets too far the bullying and people get really hurt and it lowers people's self-esteem and like we don't want everyone to have a low self-esteem and stuff so we want everyone to be happy. So. And it's something that unfortunately every kid has to go through at some point and we want to make sure that there are ways to uh, counteract that and keep a positive environment. Just because everything that's happened in the past few years at Salt Fleet, you know, we've been through like a really hard time. I think we got to speak out some more, just so we don't want that to happen again. We're a big school. Uh, we're a big place. Uh, 1,300 people call this home. We're, we are a community. And kids have the right to come to school not looking over their backs. Kids have the right to come to school and feel accepted for who they are, uh, for what they believe in, and uh, that's important. That's important in today's day and age. What do you guys think makes Salt Fleet awesome? Uh, there's a lot of nice students and teachers here. What kinds of bullying do you normally see the most? Um, well, since I usually use like social networking sites a lot. Um, yeah, like online, Facebook, yeah. things like that. It's just uh, all around just social networking. What's the usual way of getting bullied? Like physical, emotional, cyber? Usually I think it's emotional, like being left out, excluded, and recently cybering, cyberbullying. I think more cyberbullying because bullies can do it a lot easier over the internet and they don't have to see them face to face. What's the main way that you get bullied? Is it physical, emotional, cyber? Mostly cyber because no one really likes to be nice in person so or mean, so they just do it over the internet use it as a weapon. What do you think makes Salt Fleet awesome? Teachers motivating students to strive for their highest, um, highest standard of learning and their greatest potential. A lot of times just playful, joking yeah, around type just stuff. Joking around, just joking around. Has it ever just gone too far though where yeah, it's at it's that? Been, it's gone too far, um, but they usually stop and apologize. What do you think Soul Fleet does well that makes its students feel safe and included? I think um, a lot of the events that we have and having teachers like monitor the halls and everything like that keeps kids safe and included. What do you think makes Salt Fleet awesome? What makes Salt Fleet awesome? Well, I think that we're a really big family and we're really well put together. What do you think Salt Fleet does to make sure its students feel safe and included? Salt Fleet's a great place because it provides kids that opportunity to uh, feel safe. We've got a variety of different uh, programs. You know, you highlight the work of the Health Action Team to raise awareness. Uh, certainly their Love Not Hate Thumb campaign uh, is definitely one that, to raise that awareness piece. Uh, also too, I think uh, really impressive, we've got the Tip Off program, uh, opportunity for kids uh, privately uh, can reach out to any one of us uh, here in the main office uh, and need support. Have you ever witnessed bullying? I have. Um, I've been bullied. I've uh, been the bully. I've witnessed bullyings. It's. Uh, I've. I've been full circle in. Uh, in bullying here. I just. I, sometimes I just push the buttons too far, and then somebody gets hurt, and I feel bad about that. So, have you ever witnessed bullying yourself? Yes, I have. How so? Like, what's the main way that you see a lot of bullying these days? Is it physical, emotional, cyber? I mostly see it on cyber bullying. A lot of people are ripping on each other on Twitter and Facebook. Have you yourself ever been bullied? Oh yeah, lots of online bullying, social media. You know. People just hide behind their computer screens and just go from there. Did you want to expand on how the tip-off program works exactly? Sure. Uh, kids are uh, definitely encouraged to download the app uh, to their phones uh, and at any one time that they identify uh, something uh, in the building that we should know about or something that uh, someone needs help or they personally need help. Uh, what they're able to do is to uh, using the app on the phone 
they're able to uh, key in uh, information and that is uh, shared to a third party and then we're provided with that information in order for us to be able to follow up. Generally that happens within two to three hours. Um, kids have been able to reach out to us and share some information in order to continue to make this place a safe and welcoming one. I think your parents is probably the best place to go because they can contact the school, they can actually do something about it. Well if anyone is feeling threatened by bullying they can always go to guidance and like the guidance and teachers and everything are always there to like talk about it if they need it so it makes them feel more safe about it. Well we always direct uh, students in the school to go to any adult, any caring adult in the building, uh, especially in the guidance office, uh, vice principals, teachers, uh, everyone in the school is here to help so any caring adult in the school would be more than willing to assist anybody when the situation arises. Your parents or go to the school guidance or something? Yeah. The, the tip off thing you can like tweet to, I think it's you tweet or you can like uh, text it. Well actually, uh, myself, speaking from personal experience, I knew I could go, always go to my teachers. I always knew there was guidance counselors that would help me. And I always knew I had backup at home, which I knew I was very lucky for. Um, so yeah, and the same would go here. You have teachers you trust, you have guidance counselors you trust, um, we have the nurse who's absolutely wonderful. Definitely the guidance, you know, that's where I went, even to a close teacher, you know, one of your teachers that you're really close with. You know, letting everything out feels better than keeping it bottled up. Kids really got to be advocates for themselves and they really got to learn to care for each other. Uh, this place is a really great place and we need to make sure that it stays that way. 